Something I've been curious about for a while is, can you print vehicles with an FDM printer? I love resin printing, but it can be a hassle cleaning and curing big prints. So I tend to shy away from printing anything large. FDM seems perfect for it. The Astral Combat Carrier Kickstarter from Orchitect is the perfect excuse to try. Thanks to Orchitect for sending me the files to try out. It's a modular APC that doubles as not only a vehicle for your army, but a carrying case. It can hold up to 10 32 millimeter bases inside. Very cool. I love me a double whammy. Make sure to check it out using the Kickstarter link in the description. Printing this thing out was pretty easy. While you can still print it on resin, everything is built with FDM printing in mind. I switched the build plate adhesion to brim, which creates a one layer thick border around your object. This helps keep everything nice and stuck flat to the print bed. You may not need to use this depending on your printer and filament though. There are some objects that need supports turned on. I used tree supports, which saves filament and are easy to remove. As you get more used to printing, you'll be able to tell what may or may not need supports. For example, the panels didn't need supports, as there's nothing with too wild of an overhang, but the roof piece definitely did. If you need a little extra help with bed adhesion, like this flamethrower, you can switch to raft bed adhesion. This will create a little platform for your print to stick to. The leftover raft is perfect for factory bases or terrain, so it's a win-win. I printed the main hull and roof piece with the standard 0.2 millimeter layer height and increase the level of detail for all the other pieces by decreasing the layer height to dynamic quality, which is set at 0.16 millimeters. Orchitect added these magnet holes designed for six millimeter by two millimeter magnets. I've added an Amazon link to the magnets used in the description. The magnet holes are very snug and depending on the accuracy of your printer, you may need to use a 1 4th inch drill bit to clean them, or buy the 5mm by 2mm version using the same link. If there are any physicists watching, I'd love to know the strength difference between the 6mm and 5mm versions, if it would even be noticeable. I'm paranoid about messing up polarity whenever I magnetize stuff, so I made this little magnet stick with the polarities marked on it. I've added it to my model and bits box for my patrons. Here's a little bonus tutorial for you. Some magnets don't come with the polarity marked on them. To find the polarity, you can make a little compass. Take a container, fill it with water, and then cut some packing styrofoam into a little block and make a small trench to hold a line of magnets. Put some magnets in the trench and watch it rotate. The stack of magnets should now be facing north and south. Then, glue the magnets so they face the right way in the magnet stick. The positive, or north side, of the magnet should face outward from the positive end of the magnet stick. And likewise, the south end of the magnet should face outward from the south side of the stick which actually took me more thinking than I'd care to admit. Cool. Then it was a case of adding a metric buttload of magnets to the APC. I would add super glue into a few magnet holes, snap a magnet onto one end of the magnet stick, push a magnet into the hole, and then slide the stick off, leaving a magnet in the hole. I made sure to be consistent by using the negative side of the magnet stick for anything that would attach to the APC, like panels and guns, and using the positive side for anything on the hull or anything a gun would attach to. The main point is to be consistent which side you're using. 
I wrote down a key to take the thinking out of it. The only exception to the rule is when adding magnets to the underside of the roof. They need to line up with whatever is going to be attracted on top. My pea brain couldn't figure this out at the time, so I placed an attachment on the roof and slid the magnet along into the hole. Once you've got all the magnets in place, it's insanely satisfying snapping everything together. I printed all the weapons and tracks in a silver filament from Overture, and the rest in black. I'm not going to paint the weapons in case I want to print more of them, to avoid having to paint them in the future. I spray painted all the panels and hull with fossil and then sprayed from above with ivory. Then I dry brushed with parchment to quickly edge highlight with the biggest brush I had. I probably could have gone lighter with this, but I didn't have any brighter color to work with at the time. I took a sponge and made deep chips and scratches with a dark brown. And sponged again with a light tan to create shallow chips and scratches. I finally hit specific areas with metallic paint to make some heavily weathered spots. And that's it for painting. I try to make this as quick and painless as possible. What do you think? Is FDM high enough quality for vehicles? I wager it is. The layer lines are definitely noticeable if you look close enough, but honestly, I don't think they look too bad. If you'd like me to make a video testing different ways to hide these layer lines, let me know. If you like the APC and carrying case, make sure to check out the Astral Combat Carrier Kickstarter by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Big thank you to my patrons for supporting me and the channel. Take a gander at my affiliate links if you want to get some hobby stuff. Thank you! Alright, bye bye